Right, folks, I'm up here. It's Trick Point, Black Hill. Blue sky. Blue sky, everyone. Great wood. Right, right over there. So far I've walked just today, so far. And further than that, can't see that. Will's neck. Well, I was up there earlier. Right over there. Walking through a lot of woods, so basically I might not see in a great deal of sky, but there would, could have been sunbeams coming down. Blue sky! Hi! Well, I've got a few things to do. There's a, a carn and a history with a plaque. I'll do that again. Then I've got that lovely walk down that... Um, which I didn't do last time, don't forget, when I came over because I had to be diverted because of that big herd of cows. I didn't get to go down that coombe, bit Nola coombe, because um, I had to do the lower path, the Coleridge way, because of that. Now, if I'd had the sun earlier, I would have um, done a bit of all those trees. It was quite dark in there anyway, so I mustn't worry too much about the greyness, because it would have been dark in there anyway. But I might have zoomed in and out these hills more. We've all got a history. But I've got enough to do today. I will be back. I do get a bit despondent when it goes very grey, and there was mist earlier. But it's a different part. It's this capturing the contox in different weathers. It's good. It's just so we can capture you in with the trick point. Hi. What's wrong with it? Isn't it? In Selborough Hill Fort. I was thinking of doing that, but I'll keep that for another day, she'll. I was thinking of going down there as well and back. But, and then there's a lower one. I'm not going to, I'm going to concentrate on the hills this side. So here's the trick point on Black Hill. Like I say, I've come from right over there, the other side of there, by the way, that path that leads up to that hill in the distance, called Will's Neck. I can just see the trick point now with some people by it. Um, I walked up the other side of that. I walked up Stout Lane. I'd walked all a mile from the bus stop as well, and I'd also been around the church. So I've actually done quite a lot. Um, I'm going to keep anything that side for another time. It can be done, but not today. I'm going to go out on that hill there. There's a hill there. And it's a, it's got a corn on it, and there's a plaque by a gate with some information, which I have recorded before, by the way. None of this is new, but anyone following me now and wants more information, they will have to dig up one of my Quantock walks from a few years back. And there's lots of information about the Quantock Hills and its history, its geology. And if I zoom in over there, there's a plaque and a gate, which I'm going to go through. So I've got plenty to do. Some people just coming up to it now, and some people are reading it. So, they might pass us in a minute, we might pass them. I doubt if I see any deer today. Be the rutting season next month. Lots of heather though. 
Hinkley Point over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There we go then, nice scene. I'm just gonna people coming now, I'm gonna turn off for a bit and then I'll be heading over there. Right, well blue sky didn't last very long. Big group of people over there, I'll just zoom in. Uh, it must look like a school trip. Probably one of those um, youth things where they take the map, map and compass. I usually I'm over there walking the track down that way, but I thought, no, let's do this one for a change. There's another one where you can go round the hill as well. <sighs> yeah, so it's not it's not really very far now, you know, because um, I got a feeling off for Glen's down there. Yeah, because that's um, higher hair nap, lower hair nap. Actually, not very far at all now, really. There was a bloke lurking at the top for ages. I don't know. It was probably nothing, but I just thought... Oh, I reckon I'm going to be getting on a really early bus, you know. I wouldn't if it was the weather has been proper. What it is, there's a path that goes round, the, round that. I might go on that, and that takes me to the Big Noller Hill to go down. I mean, if I had more... I just don't want to do too much, really, because I could have gone through the hill fort, cross, down, and up. But no, I did want to do this bit as well. You know. So, um... There are other times. I just can't nip out when I want. That's the thing. And when you've got your vehicle, you can just you can see what the weather's like and just go. And then you don't have to rush when you're here. It's so different when you've got to be bus train, bus train, or train bus. I think there might be another group over there. Let's have a look. And don't get me wrong, I've done it. I've done a lot. I don't think it was wise to... And what's that there? That sheep. Just looking out for those, that herd of cows, you know. Yeah, I, I've done a lot. That is a big walk I've done. But normally I park at Holford, and I, or I park at Triscombe Stone. And, um... I walked there and back. I don't think there are allowed bikes on this bit. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that young person that I saw, saw at the start. Yeah, I don't know what happened to her. Yeah, the sun's shining in Holford over there. That's Holford. Hodder's Coombe, all the coombs that lead to, the, all the fords lead to the Hodder's Coombe and then I've still got, there's no panic anyway, there's no panic. If I get home early, I'll get home early. It doesn't matter, I don't think it's worth doing too much. It's one o'clock now. Come out down by a gate down there. Oh. Of 
course, now I know it didn't take me long to walk along that road. I don't actually mind um, walking to the church again on that route and doing the lower route. I don't actually mind doing that another time. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, folks. This is the beautiful Quantock Hills on the 28th of August, 2021. Chris says what video it is. It could be 10, 11, 12. Easy, I think. Over and out.